Right now in the tropics, we are very active, which is typical for this time of year as we are just coming down from that peak of um, September 10th. So Hurricane Lee, of course, we'll go into more detail about what to expect with Lee. Margo, Hurricane Margo is still hanging out in the central Atlantic, creating some high seas and high swells and a 90% chance of new development with a tropical wave that is like going to move to the northeast along a similar path just north of where Lee tracked. However, uh, should stay further away from the Caribbean than Lee did. So right now Lee is moving north, due north at nine miles per hour. Uh, pressure is at 953 millibars and our wind is at 100 miles per hour. So it is a category two storm right now, likely going to continue to weaken as it does pass uh, th just off to the west of Bermuda. That storm will have an impact across New England, likely more so in terms of waves, dangerous surf and so forth. However, some wind, tropical storm force winds, tropical storm watch, and even a hurricane watch in place for portions of New England and Maine as we speak early this morning. So that system is going to look like it takes a northeastward push once it gets that far north, but it is creating some high seas right now out there, 30 to 40 foot swells. And along the, the eastern coast, even from Florida and then to the Carolinas right now, we're getting five, six, seven foot swells. So that's going to be that dangerous surf that we're talking about. The surf forecast taking some waves as is 10 feet along that coastline into tomorrow. For us, our buoy is reading three feet right now, but it looks like at the beach we're going to be closer one to two feet uh, every four seconds becoming choppy out there with winds picking up out of southeast about 20 knots. We've got isolated storms in the forecast, a low rip current risk, so that's something you'll have to watch out for if you're headed to the beach or doing some fish.